Harvey Weinstein gave hundreds of thousands of dollars to politicians and to the Clinton Foundation over the years. In a statement today, the Clinton Foundation announced that it is not returning the money. It's refusing, saying that money was spent a long time ago on what it called, apparently without irony, charitable efforts. It's not the only time Weinstein has given big to the Clinton family. Almost 20 years ago, Weinstein was one of only a handful of people who donated the maximum to Bill Clinton's legal defense fund during the Monica Lewinsky impeachment scandal. Peter Schweitzer, well situated to comment. He wrote the book Clinton Cash, and he joins us tonight. Peter, it seems to me there's a cost in not returning the money. If you're Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton, who spent a better part of a week not responding to your old friend's sexual harassment scandal, why wouldn't you just give the money to some virtuous charity and call it a day? Why would you refuse? Uh, that's a great question, Tucker. I mean, look, um, they're kind of in a pickle, the Clintons. Um, this is not a relationship with a celebrity or a Hollywood person that was sort of a flash in the pan. As you pointed out, they've known each other. They've had financial connections going on for 20 years. Uh, and Weinstein, you know, had an interview with Bill Clinton in 2012 on CNN in which he talks about the fact that, that they're friends and that he considered Bill right. Clinton a mentor. Uh, Weinstein is not what you'd call a modest person. So if he's saying that, he probably really means it. So the Clintons are in a tough spot. But, you know, that said, there really is no other choice other than for them to give this donation to someone else. Um, you know, I'm not buying that this was spent well to help other people. Uh, there was an internal review done of the Clinton Foundation that Chelsea Clinton ordered. They asked Clinton employees of the foundation to rate the effectiveness of the charity on a scale from 1 to 10. The average score was a 4. Uh, some of them gave it a one. So Clinton Foundation employees don't consider the foundation very effective, and we know that that money was probably not spent in a very effective way. Yeah, and those were not right-wing partisans, presumably. I mean, my understanding was the Clinton Foundation doesn't do a lot of actual helping of people. It convenes conferences where rich people gather to talk about helping people. But you got to wonder if its finances aren't a little tight right now. They, they've run, they don't have anything to sell because the Clintons no longer have positions of power. How is their fundraising going? Do we know? Uh, well, it's not going great based on public reports. Uh, they had, you know, two arms of this, the Clinton Foundation and then, of course, the Clinton Global Initiative, CGI. Right. CGI shut down after the 2016 election. It no longer exists. And that was really the central marketplace for influence peddling. Clinton Foundations tried to position itself in a different way. They tried to amass uh, an endowment uh, over the last couple of years. So they probably got $150 million parked away so they could certainly give this money to someone else. They have it. But the long-term and medium-term prospects are not good. Uh, they don't have access to sell, as that same Chelsea Clinton review uh, pointed out in internal review, that a, a lot of the high-dollar donors were expecting quid pro quos. And if you don't have anything to sell, uh, people are just not going to give money to your organization. And that's precisely the problem the Clintons are running into. That's exactly right. Why would the Sultan of Oman or the royal family of Abu Dhabi give you anything? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like the least efficient yeah. way to spend money. Peter Schweitzer, thank you.